Hi guys, Alan Salmon here, and in this lesson we're going to be exploring some different ways that you can add expression to your playing. Here's a nice lick for you to try in A minor, which sounds almost like a singer rather than a guitar player. The way to play that is to have your third finger on the second fret of the D string, slide to the fifth fret, slide to the seventh fret. Then what we're going to do is a very quick kind of backwards and forwards slide from the 6th fret to the 7th fret. Finally, we just go back the way we came, so 5th fret, 2nd fret. Dynamics are a really big part of your expression as a player as well. Play some licks, let's say in A minor, and just experiment with different volumes and different ways that you can attack the note. Another thing you can do to add a little bit of character to what you're playing is to change where you're picking along the string. Here, it sounds kind of warm. But if you pick further towards the bridge, there's a lot more bite to the note. Here's a cool thing you can do with bending and tapping. Here's the first part of the lick. Bend up the seventh fret of the G string, up a tone. Then we tap with your second finger on your right hand, the tenth fret of the G string. Then what we do is pull off that tapped note, release the bend, followed by one more pull off. Lastly, we're going to bend the B string at the 8th fret upper tone, and we're going to tap the 11th fret on the same string. One of the great things about playing guitar is the different type of expression you can put into just one note. There are so many things you can do to make one note sound different than another player. One thing that's really important is that you have strings that are responsive to that information. I use Elixir's OptiWeb strings because I find they translate the nuances and the subtlety of my own playing better than any other string that I've used before. That's it for today guys. I hope you enjoy experimenting with some of those ideas of expression and touch and I'll see you next time.